we're going to turn this floor plan image into a house in Blender by going through Inkscape. I image googled floor plan and found this image and now it's on its own layer so I can redraw it in Inkscape. Now you can see I just drew the perimeter with a, a, a square using only the stroke of the square not the fill and then I'm drawing the walls with uh, that pen tool that you can draw beziers and straight lines with. I think it might have taken me two or three minutes to draw the whole thing, which is way faster than it would take if I was making it in Blender. Next, you got to change all those strokes, and they are all strokes, into a path. So you select all of them and go to Path, Stroke to Path. The next thing you want to do is put them all together. So you go to Path, and click Union, and that'll make them all one thing. Now my plan calls for nine interior doors, and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to cut them out of my walls using these blue squares. I'm just doing a difference. So it's path, difference. And I'll just end up with openings in my walls where the doors would be. And that's good enough for this purpose. I added a girl for size comparison and I imported the image as a plane. Now I import my SVG and scale it to the right size of everything. And then convert it to a mesh. That is Alt-C that does that. And then I extruded it upward to where it looks like it's the right size. That looks good. Now I'm going to use an add-on that's included with 2.78, I believe. It's called Arc Mesh, and that's going to make my windows for me. You can actually use the features of Arc Mesh to make the walls too, but I didn't really like it. But I do like the windows. So you add it, and then you move the windows or doors wherever you need it uh, by dragging the empty around. And then you scale the empty, and it scales the entire group that it's made out of. It's pretty cool. I watched Andrew Price's tutorial on it, um, and I tried making the walls using it too, but I didn't like it at all, and that's what made me come up with this idea of using Inkscape to make the walls instead of using Arc Mesh to make the walls. But Arc Mesh is great for the windows and the doors and stuff. Um, here I'm just going to add three of them really quick and put them in place. ArcMesh has got a bunch of other cool stuff too, like cabinets and other things that you would put in a house. I haven't looked into all of those. One of the cool things that ArcMesh has is bounding boxes that will automatically cut the holes in your walls. So I select my walls and add a Boolean modifier and then just change it to difference and look for the control hole for your window or door. When you got all your windows and doors and stuff where you want them, just add a foundation and a roof and you have a house. That's about all I was going to say about it. Thank you for watching.